Hello, welcome to my channel, She Talks Systems. My name is Nicola and I am so happy to have you here with me today. Today's video, I am going to show you how you can manage your client onboarding using both a Dubsado and ClickUp and how the two can connect together using my amazing favorite tool ever, Zapier. So if you are trying to figure out the best ways to manage this for your service-based business, definitely stick around. So this video is definitely key for those who are service providers. If you onboard your clients and then you also want to bring them into ClickUp and set up your project with your client, this video will hopefully give you some insights into how you can do that. So if you don't know me, my name is Nicola. I am the founder of Nicola Melinda Consulting. I'm assistance consultant and I help service-based businesses get their processes organized and automated through the use of ClickUp and Dubsado. So you can also check out the description below if you want to give either of these platforms a try. You can definitely check them out for free and get used to how they work and see if they really are a fit for you and your business. So I want to take you guys through an exercise today. This is a little bit different. This is an exercise that I go through with my clients to help them further understand their process. They can see everything from a more holistic point of view. So we're going to go through a bit of a visual workflow session today and hopefully we'll give you an understanding as to how each step of the process actually fits in together and how you can do a very similar exercise in your own business to build out your own onboarding process. So I'm inside of a work my flow mapping tool. There are a few different tools that you can use to do this process. If you are a visual person, this works really, really well. If you like to write things down as well, you can definitely just use a Google Doc and write down all of the steps. But visually, this is great because you can really do a brain dump on screen and see what works. So I'm going to separate the two. So basically, we have two parts of the process. We have Dubsado and then we also have ClickUp. So I'm just going to write these two here. Now, I just want to explain the differences between both of these platforms. So Dubsado is essentially going to manage your client onboarding, your contracts, your invoices, and just making sure that you've got all of the boring stuff taken care of in the nicest way possible. So Dubsado is going to manage that for you. Dubsado is your business manager, your CRM is going to house all of the information that your clients actually provide you with. So Dubsado does have its own client portal as well. And I do have another the video that I'll link in the description below so that you can go and check that out and see how the Dubsado client portal actually works. But essentially it will house things such as your client contracts, forms, invoices, and you'll be able to see all of your email correspondence. So everything in terms of communications, emails, forms, payments will all happen inside of Dubsado. And then we have ClickUp. So ClickUp is your task management tool. It will help you to organize the projects that you are working on with your clients and it will help you to also set them up as well and make sure that they're being onboarded. So there are two benefits to having both platforms and they both can sync together really well. So the tool that we use in the middle of both of these is Zapier. So for those of you who are new to the online automation world, Zapier is a great tool that essentially will connect the dots. So you will be able to connect your Dubsado over here. You can connect Dubsado to Zapier and you can have both of these platforms talking to each other. They work together really, really well. And Zapier is like the middleman between the two. So within Dubsado, what does your client onboarding process look like? Now, this is going to be a very general process that I'll put together. But essentially, it will most likely start with a lot of us. It will start with sending off a client proposal. And the client in turn will then complete that proposal and complete the contract and invoice. So once this happens, we have a contract that's being completed by our clients. OK, so that's where we then start to move into next steps. So your next stage within Dubsado is that you're obviously going to email your clients and let them know that they're welcomed on board. So you'll send a welcome email. And you'll probably, if they haven't paid in full already, you'll want to ensure that you have payments set up as well. So 
So within Dubsado, there are two ways you can pay, have your clients pay. You can have recurring invoices or you can have a payment schedule in place. So you'll determine that based on the service that you're delivering. And then you may also have an email that is advising your clients that things are about to get started. And then next in the process is perhaps you invite them to book a kickoff call. Now, these are just very common steps that you'll find within onboarding process. And essentially, each of these stages can be managed within Dubsado for your clients. Now we come over into ClickUp. So what ClickUp will do is ClickUp is going to help us to manage the onboarding from an internal perspective. So externally, we've communicated with our clients. We've sent welcome emails and communications out to them. They know they have to book a kickoff call and all of that good stuff. So on the other side within our business, we need to make sure that we're prepared to actually work with our clients on that particular project. So the way in which we want to do that is we want to be sure that we're utilizing the features within ClickUp. So you may do this within having a templated client folder or a templated project list for your clients, or you may bring them in to kind of like a holding area inside of ClickUp. Now, however you want to manage that process is completely up to you. For the purpose of this video, we are going to just use the assumption you're using a project folder. So all of your clients have one client folder, and that is a templated folder inside of ClickUp. So we want to be able to actually create a new client folder. And inside that client folder, you may already have lists in place. So, so we have a client folder. And inside that folder, we may actually have pre-populated lists. So those lists might be in three categories. You could have client details, client tasks, and then the project tasks. OK, so again, this is very standard. Every business will do this differently, but this just gives you an idea of how you can actually set this up. So with this being a template itself, what it means is that you can actually have this set up in an automated way. And this is where Dubsado and ClickUp start to communicate. So we have two options of how we can bring ClickUp into the process during the Dubsado onboarding stage, right? So we have two ways that we can do this. So the first option, number one, is we can actually create a templated folder after a contract is signed, okay? So that's the first option. So that means that once this contract is actually signed, I'm gonna put a really funky tool here and I'm gonna switch up the shape. We can create a zap to create a client folder, okay? So I'm gonna just mark that in yellow, my favorite color. So now you can see that once the contract is signed within Dubsado, this zap is going to run and it's actually going to create a new folder inside of ClickUp. Now, what are the benefits of doing this? You might wonder, why would I actually want to do that? Well, the good thing about it is what Zapier will do, Zapier will pull information. So it's going to pull information from Dubsado. So your client is going to sign a contract. So they're going to put their name and details in there. What the Zap is going to do is actually read what information has been added to the contract. And you can essentially open up a client folder that has the same name as your client. So if the client is Joe Blogs, you can then create a folder using Zapier automatically. And that folder is going to be named Joe Blogs inside of your ClickUp listings. What's even better as well is that if you have a client space within ClickUp, what you're going to do is you're gonna have a space up space and then you're going to have your client folders. So this gives you an idea of how that would be structured within ClickUp. So client folder number two and then we have good old Joe Blogs and Joe Blogs came through automatically via Zapier. So that's one way where you can bring in your clients into ClickUp and essentially you're not bringing your actual client into ClickUp, but you're bringing the onboarding process into ClickUp itself. And so another way where you can actually bring the client process inside of ClickUp is step two. 
And this is by using the ClickUp forms. So what a lot of people will tend to do is create an intake form inside of Dubsado using the questionnaires. And that's not wrong. That's absolutely fine. I do it. A lot of service providers do it and it works really well. Another way that if you do want to incorporate or bring in certain client information into ClickUp is that you can create a form inside of ClickUp itself. So perhaps before you actually get started on a project, you need to bring in or collate certain client information first before you can actually assign the right folder or assign the right type of project template to that client. So the best way that you're going to do that is through the use of the ClickUp forms. And with the ClickUp forms, you can incorporate custom fields, key questions. You can ask them for project information, such as email, the best email address or their team members and various different details as well. So all of that will now be housed inside of ClickUp. And where you will be able to use that information is we're actually going to pop that inside of an email inside of Dubsado. So instead of the zap operating and starting from the contract being signed, I'm going to just make this a bit smaller, move this up a bit. Okay, so let's just move this up and out of the way. So that is our process number one. So for process number two, in the send a welcome email, this is where you can actually add your intake form. So you'll be able to add your intake form here. And with ClickUp, you'll be able to actually grab a share link. And so you can always have that link inside of the email. So this can still be automated, but it doesn't stop the process. And so once that is actually filled out by the clients, it's not necessarily a zap, but there is a creative way that you can create a zap. And I'll show you that in a moment. But what this will do is this will actually in turn create a task inside of ClickUp for us. Now, this is what I would probably say a bit more advanced. So it's going to create a task inside of ClickUp. So we've added the intake form to the welcome email. And in turn, this has created a task for us. So this is essentially what will happen. And so a task will be created inside of ClickUp. So from the form being added to the welcome email and completed by the client, it's going to create a task inside of ClickUp. Now, the only caveat to this is that if you're using ClickUp forms, you're not able to track the responses through the Dubsado workflow. So definitely just bear that in mind. Now, next, what you can do with the ClickUp intake form to further automate the process. So let's move this up is you can make use of custom fields and you can actually create a status custom fields so that you can decide what type of service they're doing. So you might have a question in the intake form that says, what service are we providing for you? And then you'll have your options. So let's just say in my scenario, it's a retainer, it's a, a system, projects, just put project or a VIP day. So based on the answers that are provided, you will then be able to create zaps that will create the correct folder for your client. So if, for example, your client has selected that they are a retainer client, we are going to create a retainer client folder. So you would have separate client folder types because you'll work with these clients in very different ways. So you're going to create a retainer client folder. So that would be zap number one. And this zap would happen based on the status change. So once the status has actually been updated in ClickUp, then it's going to create a folder against that status. So if they say a retainer client folder, it's going to create a retainer client folder. And then if they say they're a VIP day client, for example, you may have a different folder. You may have a different folder for your VIP day clients. So this is another way of how you can combine the two, combine Dubsado and ClickUp together through the use of Zapier.
So that was a bit of an intense, very quick, speedy walkthrough. But I did want to give you just sort of an overview of how Zapier can really connect with both Dubsado and ClickUp. And as you can see, you do have a couple of good options to help you streamline your process so that you're not having to go between platforms as well. So if you do want to see some more ideas and tips on how you can use Dubsado and ClickUp together in your business, drop a comment below and also let me know if this was helpful for you. And if there were any ways that you were going to incorporate this within your business, I would absolutely love to know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. You can also come and join us in the She Talk Systems Facebook group. I would love to get to know a bit more about you and your business. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.